Good evening everybody, so welcome back to the channel. So tonight we are going to be working on my 06 Gixxer 600. Uh, we're going to be replacing the stator and the regulator tonight in hopes that we can fix the charging issue. Uh, Mike's a little dirty. It's been sitting for about a month, month and a half, two months, something like that while I uh, get the issue figured out. So yeah, let's hop into it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove the side cover or the fairing, as you call it. And all you need is a, I believe it's a T4 or a size 4 Adam. And there is one, two, three bolts. Four and one down here at the bottom by the kickstand and then you also got where the uh, fairies come together down here and yes Percy is out here with me tonight doing some fine southeast Missouri evening weather make this nice to uh, get this bike done so that way I can enjoy some of the nice weather outside. Now normally all these bolts are a uh, size 4 Allen. I think I replaced this. Nope, still size 4. Right, so we got all the bolts removed. Now these are held together down here. The fairing is with a zip tie. You know, with a body bolt. But zip ties work pretty well. Yep. Should pop off. There are a couple little clips here. That comes off there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prop my gas tank up. Take the seat off. All right, so now we have the air box here. Hopefully you can see it. Coming out. So yeah. You got the airbox here. And then down here you got your throttle bodies. And they're held down by a clamp. And they get the bolt off the clamp. It's a uh I believe it's a size three Allen. But mine are loose right now. Uh from when I first when I originally did this, so I don't have to so I don't have to loosen them up. So this just comes right out of here. So, and unclip the regulator. There's a clip here. And then, if you saw my previous video, I hardwired the um, hardwired the regulator and stator together because it burned up the plug, and I wanted to see if it would work. But it still doesn't charge right, so we're just going to go ahead and cut these wires because we're going to replace it anyways. All right, so with all that taken off, next thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna take off the stator cover. So, this stator cover is held on by eight millimeter bolts. I got one, two, three, really four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I believe under this cover here, I'm going to find a hidden bolt. So let's go ahead and get stuff uh, taken apart. Oh. 
it's kind of a pain. Cheers. But this motor, I believe it's an aluminum block. So I don't really like hitting it with a, something that's an impact because I don't want to break the threads loose. I think I've said that before in a couple of videos. Then you gotta do helio coils and just a whole bunch of other stuff, and it's well, just a huge pain. I think my dog just fell off the patio. some reason these bikes so what I've been told and this is coming from a company called Rick, Rick's Electric uh, these things pull such a high amperage and it gets so hot that it burns the coils on the stator which is probably what we're going to end up finding when we get the stator cover off all right so now we got all the outside bolts removed Take this little cover off here. Let's work it back and forth. Little screwdriver. Then ever so gently work it loose. All right there, that's your starter gear. Set that off to the side. And what I'll show you is, so I was talking about a hidden bolt. When you take this apart, here's your hidden bolt right there. You know, a little thrush, thrush washer here. Get that out of the way. Yeah, here's your hidden bolt. Very important you remember that. So that way you're not hitting your cover with a hammer trying to get it off. There it goes. It's a little pry bar persuasion. <laughs> there it goes. Magnetic. Oops. And of course, this thing's probably mag steel, so there we go. Alrighty. Alright, so we got our stator cover off. I don't see anything too, too concerning except those coils up the top here are a little discolored, so. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take those three screws off and get the stator out and we'll replace it with a new one. All right, so to get the stator out, you got three bolts here. It's the size, yep, size five on the Allen. So, yep, when I come back to it, stator will be removed. All right, so I got the old stator here and the new stator here. And you can see the difference. You got these one, two, three, four coils on top here. They're discolored, so they're starting to fail. Uh, then you got the new stator here. 
Uh, coils look good. That's actually, I think they're wound a little bit tighter than this one is. Uh, this, is, I think, is actually an OEM replacement. Is an OEM uh, stator I got from a, for an 05 Jixer. So we'll see what happens with this one. And uh, yeah, we'll get the stator back in. The one thing I will suggest is when you're doing this, put your stator cover on a rag if you're doing it on the ground or really anywhere so that way you don't scratch it all up. So yeah, I'll go ahead, I'll put this new stator in and uh, we'll get to the regulator. So I am back. I got the gasket surfaces cleaned off. It's very important whenever you're dealing with a gasket, you get your gasket surfaces cleaned off. That way when uh, you put the new gasket on, you don't have to worry about oil leaking out. And then uh, we'll go ahead and use some uh, carbon choke cleaner here. Clean this out, kind of clean up uh, where the stator goes, and uh, we'll go from there. Alrighty, so I got the new stator in. Kind of cleaned off the surface right here. It wasn't actually too bad, so it really take a whole lot. Gasket here. That's why. Okay. So it's been a while since I've been in here. The stator gear has to go behind this. The starter gear. Who knew? Right? Okay. So you live and you learn. All right. Let's get this back on here. Bolts in here started, hold it all. Kind of wish this thing had another pin on the other end. On this side over here, and hold it all together. But it doesn't, so roll with it. Alrighty, so the bolts on this are... I think I said I've read or seven, eight foot pounds of torque or just hand tight. <laughs> Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get it head. I'm gonna do everything kind of in a crisscross pattern as best I can. Cheers. Everything's gonna be about hand tight. Um, I don't really see a reason to go any more than hand tight. So I made a mistake in my comment there. You want to go more than hand tight, you just don't want to torque them down too much just because you can't strip the threads out of the block. All right, we should be good there. I'll go around, do a ring around the rosy real quick. With them. And, you know, if I get an oil leak, I can just tighten them down a little bit more. But I feel like, you know, if I twist too hard, I'm going to pop these damn threads. So. Alright, there we go. That's about as tight as I'm going to go on them. So, now I got this dealie valve here. Just covered in freaking bugs. These bugs are atrocious tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean them all off. All right, so we get this gear here back into here. As you see, I already have the shaft, the needle bearing. This little washer back here on the spacer back here, I guess you'd call it. So I'm going to show you how I do it. It took me a second to figure it out, but basically what I do is I take a small flathead screwdriver. And we'll stick it all the way through. And then you got to figure out, make sure your starter gear is lined up. Might take you a couple tries. Um, one of these uh, little magnetic tools is uh, a lifesaver with this thing.
There we go. So now I got it on there. As you see, it's a little tricksy, but you got to have about, you want your shaft of the, uh, that little, I don't know what the technical term is to call it. Uh, about that sticking out a little bit right there. And then you can go ahead and put your washers on. You got this little, it's almost like a lock washer kind of looking thing. That one goes on the inside. Lot washer on the outside, just like that. As you can see. And then, I should be able to just put this on here. And it should just go right on. There you go. Voila. So it took a little little tinkering, but we got there, right? Put these back on. I think after this, I'm gonna call it a night, and uh, we'll do the rest of it tomorrow because it is buggy as crap out here. And it's a little late for me. All right, there you go, everybody. Stator is in. So, that's how you do the stator on a Jixxer 600, 750, 1000. I think they're all pretty much the same exact thing uh, for multiple years. Uh, so, yeah. Hope you enjoyed part one. I'll be, uh, I'll be out here doing the rest of it tomorrow night. I am uh, covered in bugs and oil. And, yeah, it's getting kind of late. I need to feed my Percy dog, and yeah, sounds like something's going down, but hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you.